subtracting whole numbers practice with estimation. Here I might be asked to find the difference. The difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. So all it's asking me to do is to find the answer. The nice part about this problem is that there is no regrouping. 6 minus 1, we do start in the 1's place, is 5. 7 minus 4 is 3. 9 minus 2 is 7. 3 minus 2 is 1. And 5 minus 1 is 4. So my answer is 41,735. Here's another problem. And it is important, if they don't give it to you in vertical format, meaning up and down, reread it up and down, so that we carefully line up those place values. 9 minus 8 is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 2 minus 1 is 1. 6 minus 3 is 3. And then the 7, 7 minus 0 in this case is um, 7. So 73,101 is our difference there. It's the difference between those two numbers. It's the answer to a subtraction problem. Here we're asked to find the difference. So that's the exact answer. And then it says to estimate to the thousands place to check. So as before on the previous screen, we had just subtracted to find that exact answer. Now the difference here is 2 minus 3. We can't do that. We need a regroup. The 8 becomes a 7, so the 2 can become 12. Then we can work in that 1's place. 12 minus 3 is 9. 7 minus 5 is 2. 2 minus 0 is 2. 7 minus 8, I cannot do that, so the 3 becomes a 2, so the 7 becomes 17. 17 minus 8 is 9, and 2 minus 0 is 0. Estimating to the thousands place to check, I work with each of those numbers within my subtraction problem. 37,282 rounds to 37,000. 8,053 rounds to 8,000, and it's still subtraction. 0, 0, 0, 7 minus 8, can't do that. 3 becomes a 2, 7 can become 17, and so that is my estimate. 29,000 is my estimate for 29,229, which was my exact answer. All this work right here was to figure out my estimate. Here's another example. Again, it says find the difference, estimate to the thousands place to check. And then so I will find my exact answer first. Rewrite those carefully so that they are up and down vertically. And then work through that problem. 9 minus 8 is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 2 minus 5, I cannot do that. So the 8 becomes a 7, so the 2 can become a 12. 12 minus 5 is 7. 7 minus 7 is 0. 7 minus 5 is 2. And 6 minus 0 is 6. So my exact answer is 620,701. My estimate to check, it says to go to the thousands place to check. So 678,209 rounds to 678,000. 57,508 goes to 58,000. Some people need to circle and underline. Do those steps that you need to do to get the problem correct. 8 minus 8 is 0. 7 minus 5 is 2. And that 6 comes straight down there. So 620,701, 620,000 is my estimate, and they're close to each other, so I think that my answer is correct. I actually increased this, which is the number that I'm taking away, and brought what it is that I'm taking away from down. So it makes sense that the 620,000 um, is what it is. In this problem, I'm asked to estimate the difference to the ten thousands place. In this instance, I'm not asked to figure out an exact answer. All it's asking for is the estimate. 
so I can figure out the estimate for you. It says estimate the difference to the 10,000th place, so I'll take each of those numbers and round them to the 10,000th place. 45,201 goes to 50,000. 16,523 goes to 20,000. And then I just subtract those. Now, if the instructions had stated to subtract, and just put a period after subtract, and then says estimate the difference to the 10,000th place, and then it says something like to check, then not only would you do your check, but you would also end up doing your exact answer. 1 minus 3, I cannot do that, and I can't regroup from the tens place. That means the 2 becomes a 1, so the ten, 0 can become a 10. It then becomes a 9 to regroup to the 1's place. 11 minus 3 is 8, 9 minus 2 is 7, 1 minus 5 can't do it. A lot of regroups in this problem. 11 minus 5 is 6, 4 minus 6, I can't do that. 4 becomes a 3. So the 4 can become 14, 14 minus 6 is 8, and 3 minus 1 is 2. Now, I figured this out here, it is pretty close to that there. That's one of the reasons when you round to a big place like that. Is it really that helpful? Well, at least it's around there. It's around there. In other words, if I had rounded to the thousands place to check instead, maybe that would have been a lot closer. It would have been a lot closer. It would have been 45,000 minus 17,000, which is 15 minus 7 is 8, 3 minus 1 is 2, 28,000. Again, exact answer, estimated answers. Here's a couple of subtraction problems, and this time we're subtracting across zeros. We saw a little instance of this in the previous problem. Again, you still start in the ones place. 6 minus 7 can't do that. This zero, there's nothing to regroup from that tens place. That's why the, in the hundreds place, the 2 becomes a 1, so this, this zero in the tens place can become a 10. Then it can become a 9, so that the 6 becomes... 16. 16 minus 7 is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. 1 minus 6, I cannot do that. I cannot regroup from the thousands place, so I can regroup from the ten thousands place. Again, those same steps. 11 minus 6 is 5. 9 minus 8 is 1. And that 2 comes straight down there. In the next problem, 6 minus 2 is 4. 0 minus 3, I cannot do that. I can't regroup from the hundreds place, but I can regroup from the thousands place. The 1 becomes a 0, so that the 0 can become a 10. 10 becomes a 9, so this 0 becomes a 10, and then I've done my regroups. 10 minus 3 is 7, 9 minus 7 is 2, 0 minus 8 can't do that, so the 9 becomes an 8, so the 0 can become 10, 10 minus 8 is 2, and 8 minus 0 is 0. 82,274 is my answer, and in this case, the instructions just said to subtract. We are finding out the exact answer. Here it says to subtract and use addition to check your answer. So subtract, this means to figure out the exact answer. And then we're using the inverse operation of subtraction, which is addition, to check our answer. So let's get our exact answer first. 2 minus 3 can't do that. Can't regroup from the tens place, so the 6 becomes a 5, so the 0 can become a 10. It becomes a 9, so that 2 becomes a 12. 12 minus 3 is 9. 9 minus 5 is 4. 5 minus 7, I cannot do that, so I regroup. 2 minus 8, I can't do that. 5 becomes a 4, so the 2 can become a 12. 12 minus 8 is 4, and that's that answer right there. We've done this part where we've used the subtraction. It says use addition to check our answer. So when we're checking our answer, we'll just take 44,849, and then we will add. 
we'll add that back to 8,753, and ideally, if our answer is correct, we will get 53,602. We do have to go step by step and actually add those numbers together. We just cannot write 53,602. 9 plus 3 is 12. 2 regroup the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. Plus 5 is 10. 0 regroup the 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. Plus 7 is 16. 1 plus 4 is 5. Plus 8 is 13. And 1 plus 4 is 5. 53,602 matches with that original problem. I've used addition to check my answer.